Chris Eubanks, Conor Ben fight need to be made immediately. Um, they want to fight each other. They still want the fight to go on. Uh, a couple of tests don't really matter. This happened before, and people still went on to fight later on. Canelo, Triple G. So I don't want to hear that as a factor from nobody. But what I do find interesting is uh, kind of being saying that Chris uh, Liam Smith had a broken leg. I, I mean, if he was injured, if that happened in the fight, that's happened probably 50, 60 times in different fights over the years. Shoulders, I can name a few fights um, that people didn't care if the guys were injured or not. Especially when uh, Tank hurt his hand against uh, Esau Cruz. So, uh, the injur injury, I mean, it probably p played a factor, but this was a different Chris Eubanks than last time anyways. He was more balanced on his feet. Uh, he was comfortable. Um, his timing was good. He picked his spots. He wasn't um, jabbing just to jab. Uh he stayed tight inside. He didn't let him get inside too much. He kept a distance. And then when he fought inside, Liam Smith didn't want to – he couldn't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him inside. So, I, I mean, the leg part, I understand. If Eubanks was fighting like he was last time. But Colonel Vin saying that, he probably just saying that to get under his skin, um, which is probably is going to get under his skin because – to say that he didn't get credit for the fight, be like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? But I think it'll be a good fight, you know, for this fall. Probably a December, November fight. That'll be a good fight. Then it'll lead up to more things in 160. Because 160 is still trying to figure out what it's going to be. There's not too much, too much action going on in 160. Chris Eubank still can become champion at 160. Uh, there's a couple of new guys that I feel like he could have his chance against um, probably early next year. But that will be a good fight for these guys to have. I I feel like I can't say for sure right, right now who I would pick. But I, I would just say it would be a close fight. It would be a good fight. Someone would probably possibly go down, though. Possibly. I can see. Because I think the type of fight they would bring, they would be trying to knock each other out. Such a long build-up, a lot of talk, a lot of banter. But to say that the injury was because he went, nah, we're not going to do that. He earned that win. Even Liam Smith will tell you, like, I don't hear Liam Smith yelling about a rematch. I know that. I don't think he wants to rematch. Even if he does, I don't. The way Chris... Went about his business, the confidence he had, cause he he proved he proved me wrong on this. Well, I wouldn't say he proved me wrong. It was just I didn't like the Roy Jones training them. Now that Bo Max training them, and people are starting to realize how good of I have to give Chris Eubanks credit, because even his father probably wouldn't have did this. Going to get Brian McIntyre as your trainer is the smartest thing any boxer has done. Uh, outside of um, Terrence Crawford because having Bo Mack as his trainer, I know Chris Eubanks knows boxing now because he can see now, nah, I don't want to go to Derrick James. I don't want to go to these other guys, Robert Garcia. Let me see what Brian McIntyre can do for me. And he's perfect person for him. Perfect person. He doesn't have to have a knockout punch every time. Just great boxing. So that was good on his part. But it's going to be a good fight. I'm going to stay updated on the details about uh, a match coming up. Because I feel like that's going to be the probably more realistic fight. Fighting Triple G, that's not going to be a real fight. But like and subscribe. Can't face the boxing.